DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, that's a mouthful, is part of the Defense Department of Defense, and the agency is always looking for new ways to develop cutting-edge technology for the military. And they're developing some of that technology at Arizona State University. 12 News journalist Tricia Hendricks has our story. In the heat of battle, adrenaline is high, emotions are running. Danger is there. U.S. troops are highly trained to be combat ready. You not only have to be able to survive and adapt and be resilient as an individual, you have to work with other people that have your backs. And there's a, there's a level of mission readiness there that's the team level that's really hard to quantify. As highly trained as troops are for combat, the military is always looking for ways to improve through DARPA, or the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. They've partnered with ASU's engineering school to come up with technology to help measure training. Highly trained instructors have always relied on experience and observation to make their evaluations. That's really hard to quantify in some sort of objectively measurable way, right? But that's what our technology does. Jamie yes. Gorman and his team at ASU have started testing their technology on Marines in training, which can measure neurophysiological activity. So this is detecting um, heart rate, ECG. This is measuring um, blood oxygenation and deoxygenation. Let's just uh, have a way of measuring brain waves and, and you know, where in the brain activation is happening and across the brain. We're literally measuring adaptation within their body through these different systems and adaptation between the team members through their interactions. Alpha Delta 2700. The goal? Giving combat troops the training to efficiently complete the mission and come home safely. I think that, that we are you know, doing stuff in this area of research that no one else in the world is doing. Pretty cool stuff. Gorman and his team at ASU are also working on developing a technology that can measure the interaction time between a human and a technological system. It's advanced stuff. So an example would be interaction measuring a fighter pilot and how their jet is reacting to him or her and vice versa. So happening right here in town. Chris